A Buford County school is under new management and it's someone with a familiar face. News 3's Andrew Davis is in our Lowcountry newsroom with the big changes for Heritage Academy and what it may mean for families in the area. Well, a familiar name with a familiar drive to help kids learn and grow. Amanda Williams left Hilton Head Island High School amid controversy, but one thing that was never in question was her ability to make kids better. And now she has a second chance bringing a new way of thinking to Heritage Academy. And that's what perks me up in the morning. That's my caffeine. That's my high in life. Amanda Williams is talking about educating kids. The former Hilton Head High principal says she's leaving her controversy in the past and looking towards the future. You can't live life looking in the rearview mirror. You can't make decisions moving forward and expect to be productive and have the worries of what everybody else is saying. She's moving forward now, not just as the leader, but the owner of Heritage Academy, a small middle and high school on Hilton Head Island where students will be part of a big dream and a new way of learning. Sitting there growing roots in a paper and pencil, I think is really the old fashioned way of education. So it forced us to re rethink how we deliver instruction. And that's awesome. When you're done with your core subjects that you have to do towards graduation and you walk out of here on your schedule, let's say at 12.05, what can you put on your resume that's gonna set you apart? Because clubs are really no longer available due to COVID. Community service has sort of diminished to almost nothing. So what can we do to put Andrew Davis a step ahead of everybody else? Steps which could include one-on-one -on -one instruction, small classes, online education, or even flexible schedules and the support of the community, which William says wants to help kids now and long after they graduate. And people are saying constantly, Amanda, how can we help? We, we think you have a great idea, a great opportunity. I want to be a part of it. So I'm not turning anybody away. I'm taking their name and phone number and by golly, I'm putting it in my list of things to conquer. Now, William says she wants to make this education more flexible and affordable as well. She's actually dropped the need for the previous passion to enroll, things like individual sports or acting, and also lowered tuition by thousands of dollars. The school's also implementing a full-time sports program starting next year. Andrew Davis, WSAV News 3, on your side. All right, 